With its capital city, Ngerulmud, boasting an approximate population of around 400 people, this country holds the title of being the least populated capital city in the entire world. Hello, welcome to Opentiera. Today, we're looking at the small island nation of Palau, nestled in the Western Pacific Ocean. Stay with us to uncover the fascinating facts, geography, history, and culture of this charming island nation. Palau is an island country located in the Western Pacific Ocean. It sits approximately 500 miles east of the Philippines and 800 miles southwest of Guam. Palau is part of the larger island group of Micronesia. Its closest neighbors include Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and the Federated States of Micronesia. Palau consists of over 300 islands, however, only nine of them are inhabited. The largest island is Babildaub, which makes up over 70% of the total land area. Koror Island is home to the capital city of Ngerulmud. Other major islands include Angaur, Peliliu, and Kayangal. Palau's islands are grouped into 16 states scattered across the Western Pacific. The islands of Palau feature lush green mountains surrounded by coral reefs and turquoise lagoons. The Rock Islands, a collection of over 200 small limestone islands, contain Palau's iconic tropical landscapes. The country has volcanic origins. With limestone formations rising sharply from the seafloor, Palau has over 60 miles of beaches, as well as tropical rainforests in the mountainous interiors. The population of Palau is predominantly of Micronesian descent. The two largest ethnic groups are the Palauans, who make up around 70% of the population, and the Filipino community, who account for about 15% of the population. The Palauans are believed to have origins in both Indonesia and the Philippines. There are also smaller populations of Chinese, Japanese, Bangladeshi, European and American expatriates living in Palau. The predominant religion in Palau is Christianity, with around 65% of the population identifying as Christian. Of these, around half are Roman Catholics, while the other half belong to various Protestant denominations. There are also small populations of Buddhists and Muslims, each accounting for around 4% of the population. Many Palawans also maintain traditional animist beliefs and practices alongside Christianity. The official languages of Palo are Palawan and English. Palawan is spoken natively by around 70% of the population. English was introduced through British and American administration and is now used extensively in government, business and education. Many Palawans speak both Palawan and English. Within the Filipino community, Tagalog and other Philippine languages are also spoken. Among expatriates, Japanese, Mandarin Chinese and Bangladeshi languages can also be heard. The food of the Pacific Island nation of Palau is a delicious blend of indigenous dishes and influences from around the world. While Palauan cuisine retains its traditional roots, it has also enthusiastically incorporated flavors from Japan, the Philippines, Europe, and the United States. Let's explore some classic Palauan dishes. One of the most well-known Palauan foods is ukayub, minced crab meat that is stuffed and baked with coconut cream and milk. Delebdeb is a refreshing drink made from pure coconut juice and meat. It is used traditionally as a welcoming gift. Ilaot is a Palauan style syrup made of sap from a coconut tree. It can be used with a variety of food, such as ice cream, French toast, or even coffee. The islands of Palau were initially settled around 3,000 years ago by migrants from Indonesia and the Philippines. These settlers became the ancestors of the modern Palawan people. 
Traditional Palawan society was very decentralized with power held by regional chiefs. Early Palawans adhered to animist beliefs and traditions. European contact began in the 18th century with visits from British and Spanish explorers. Palau came under Spain's control in the 19th century. Spain introduced Christianity and governed the islands from its base in the Philippines. After the Spanish-American War in 1898, Spain sold Palau to Germany. Under German rule, Palau's traditional ways were suppressed in favor of westernization. Japan seized the islands during World War I and ruled Palau until its defeat in World War II. After World War II, Palau fell under U.S. control and was administered as part of the U.N. Trust Territory of the Pacific Islands. During this period, Palau adopted a constitution, held democratic elections, and transitioned to self-governance. In 1994, Palau signed a compact of free association with the U.S., giving Palau independence while allowing U.S. military access. The Republic of Palau achieved full sovereignty in 1994 after decades of foreign rule. Palau has since functioned as an independent parliamentary republic with open elections. There have been concerns over corruption and the dominance of special interests in government. Tourism and fishing have become mainstays of the economy since independence. Palau continues to balance modernization with preserving its natural environment and traditions. For thousands of years, Palawans lived off the bountiful land and sea. Fishing and agriculture were the main livelihoods in this isolated island paradise. Palawans developed skills for building impressive canoes to traverse the surrounding waters and hunt for fish and turtles. Their diet consisted of taro, yams, coconut and fruits cultivated on the islands along with fresh seafood. This subsistence living persisted even after European contact began in the 18th century. After Palau gained independence in the late 20th century, the traditional island way of life began to change. Taking advantage of its spectacular natural environment, Palau started promoting itself as an off-the-beaten-path tourist destination. Divers traveled great distances to experience Palau's coral reefs, World War II wreck sites, and the world-famous Blue Corner dive site. As word spread, tourism took off dramatically, becoming one of the main drivers of economic growth. While still reliant on tourism and fishing, Palau's economy has continued to expand into new areas. Small-scale agriculture has been largely replaced by government services and construction as leading industries. Palau has developed into an international financial services hub. However, the small population and remoteness still pose challenges. Economic prosperity has been unevenly distributed with many rural Palawans still relying on subsistence fishing and farming. If you enjoyed this video on Palau, you'll love this next one.